let us be clear, the use of chemical weapons in Syria is only the tip of the iceberg. The suffering in Syria must end. Next week, as world leaders gather here, I will make a strong appeal uh, to member states for action now. I sincerely hope that uh, Russia and United States uh, demonstrate their leadership at this time, uh, particularly uh, the countries of uh, permanent uh, members of the Security Council. They have um, a crucially important historical and moral uh, political responsibility. That is what uh, I s urged the members of the Se Security Council to act uh, yesterday uh, during my uh, presentation. What I said to the Security Council members is that uh, there is a good agreement uh, between the two uh, countries and which is uh, shared uh, in principle by all, all the member states. In such a case, the Security Council members should take uh, immediate uh, actions on that uh, uh, action which can be uh, enforceable one, enforceable one. And this is a very uh, uh, limited uh, mandate, but if um, anybody wants to really approve uh, this uh, case, uh, then the member state will have to uh, make, uh, give us another mandate or create an another, uh, another commission. So, but as I said, it is others uh, who really should pursue, who can pursue this uh, issue of uh, responsibilities. Uh, if you read this report, uh, I believe you must have read it. Uh, there is no such uh, uh, determination to where these uh, rockets uh, were fired from. So um, I do not have any uh, uh, information about that. I believe I believe that can be done, but that can be done to, if not the total ceasefire, as was done during the Selstrom's operation. Then, the, why? You know, I think we can. You know, we both sides who would have influence on government forces and opposition forces could influence a political. You know. A, a pressure or whatever, I think that can be done. Yeah. 